Hello and welcome to another solo shoutout guide. Today we will talk about Brock, how to play Brock, what gears etc to use. So I hope this guide helps you a little bit. Have much fun with the video. Let's talk about the build on Brock first. We will play obviously the first gadget and I would recommend using the second star power so we have just one more shot. For gears we use the reload gear and shield in shoutout. So what are the best brawlers to team with? Obviously you can team with other Brocks. Piper or Colette are also good brawlers to team with. Brawlers I don't recommend teaming with are uh, Max because Max is very fast and it's very hard to hit Maxes with Brock. You shouldn't team with Karls. Not because Karl is the biggest counter but Karl is a very dangerous pick on this map. And if you can you should Always make sure that you that you team against the car or if you can backstab him, take him out of the game. And you don't have to be scared about tanks because you have a gadget like a Primo jumping on you. You can just use your gadget and escape also with buses. Just make sure you don't stand too close to them so you can have actually some time to react. If it gives you an advantage, you can also team with tanks. That's not the biggest problem. So what we want to do is we will collect the chests in our spawn always. After that we rotate to the middle and maybe we can get some cubes from the middle. What you can also do is you can collect all the cubes from the middle and when people start backstabbing you because you collected all the cubes from the middle, which sometimes happens, you can just use your gadget to jump over the wall to a safe spot. But only make that if, if you know you can get out or you have a good situation like no one being there and you can just easily collect all the, all the chests. If you have a good start and many cubes you can actually just look for one or two teammates and just kill one by one player and if you have a bad start and sitting on one cube or something make sure you play a bit passive you don't play too aggressive you don't stay too close to strong brawlers that can just easily backstab you in two seconds and when the end zone is coming you prefer to stand alone or like with someone you can trust and fight against the people on top of you or on the bottom. You will see that in game. That is the best win condition you have for the game because if you sit in a group, the chance of being backstab is just much higher. And with Brock, you can pressure your enemies pretty good, force them to stand very close to each other so they have no space to shoot or to move. And in a, most cases, they will just start backstabbing each other and you win the round or at least get top two. The first thing you need to know for Brock is that you always want your, your main attack to be on the max range. So you hit much better if your enemy is on max range than if you uh, stand right in front of him. Like this. So you will miss way more often. So Erebus will start moving now. And uh, as you can see, if your enemy is always on max range, especially if it's uh, Surge, who is really slow, you will mostly always hit your enemy. And it's much better than if you stand uh, closer to him. So if the Brock keeps me on range, you will see he will hit way more oft often when you would if he stands closer to me. So and if you if we have like a middle range, you will see Brock will never hit me or very very rarely. Um, so as I said, make sure you always stand on max range with with Brock because uh, if you don't, you have problems to hit your enemy and he can just rush you and kill you. Okay, so here we are in the first round. The lobby is pretty mixed up. Um, we see many brawlers. So make sure you get the safe chest first. Just get it, rotate it instantly to the middle. We have a good spawn for the middle. And as you can see here, we have five chests. And right here, the bee probably knows us. That's a content creator bonus you don't have, but I have it. So here I go with probably two or three more cubes when I would actually have. Uh, on the bottom is also a chest, we collect that. So the bee obviously knows us. That's a corner creator bonus, as I said, you don't have it, but just ignore that fact. Um, what we do now is we want to fish out the people that are countering us or that are a big threat. For example, someone with uh, three cubes would drop two cubes to us, so we would like to have him down first. Um, so I'm scouting the middle right now. Tier one, there's a free cube Lola. She's a she's a big threat. We want to have her out, so we'll backstab her as soon as possible. Just show my show the people I team with, but I don't want to team with her. Um, the Max is helping us, so we we team with the Max. That's no problem. 
Sophie also has only one cube, so she's not really a big threat. The bee is very loyal. And also the Brock has no reason to not team with us. Uh, what we do now is we rotate up. Do more pressure, don't let our team alone or they will die. So we make sure we shoot at them. Drink their area. We get a double tap on the Gus, he's down, very nice. Unfortunately, Lola and the Grey killed our two teammates. Now I'm trying to kill the Grey while the Lola is busy with the Primo. Get a good position, stay on top. Otherwise, we have to fight against two sides. Um, keep an eye on the Grey, dodge his gadget, and now he's probably, yeah, he, he can't do anything. Lola is also dead, and as you can see here, win is mine very easy round also with a content creator bonus but uh, i will start the next round where we don't see the names so you can also see how it is if people don't recognize me so now we're in the next game and as i said we have no names shown in the game so people will not recognize me and i will have a much harder experience but let's see what i can do so we do it again First we take our, our safe chests, rotate to the middle, we got three chests, that's a really good start once again. Loro's already shooting at us, we make sure the right people are not killing us, so we just shoot at them. Um, I think B doesn't, uh, didn't even try to kill me. But safe is safe. Max is also down. Janet is now also against us and that's what I said, no content creator bonus, but we still can easily win this round, we have a good start, Max is also down, 6 brawlers left, so we just stay here, make sure we have this position saved, um, because that's a very good position for us, and in the end game we want, we want to dominate the middle and force everyone to rotate down so right now we are just chilling we are not tanking too much damage um just stay calm relax and make sure i, sh I shoot the byron because the byron has the longest range is the only brawler that can hit us um so now i am doing some movements to prepare myself all right now byron and janet are rotating down that's exactly what we wanted and now we actually have won the game or we're at, at least top two depending on how hard how much uh, this guy's team um janet gets back except now byron also gets killed and we want to have both of the cubes it's a bit risky but we want to become first we have no team anyway the mech is rotating down good for us with the lola she gets two hits and now we're already have top three for this round pretty good with we have eight cubes so the chance of winning is pretty high right now um but russ and mac are teaming really hard right now we kill the mac good super from us and right here we don't have we didn't manage to kill the russ unfortunately but i think we did a good performance and there you go also without names not as easy as with names but also doable and you can see the lobby it's a high lobby many people go rank 30 so in the last round you can see the names again and uh, we have a, again a pretty mixed up lobby let's get this safe chest first uh, i didn't pay attention how many chests are in the middle we will check that out oh there's two for us hmm really dangerous spot right now for us um, maybe you can get a cube be very nice that seems fine um, so we have nine brawlers left so let's don't waste any time and make sure we uh, get the first kills we should get the mech out mech is very very strong in the current meta so gene is already making a kill having five cubes i will make sure i rotate down because i don't want to get back except by the gene can't really trust him the gene is doing all the work work right now i don't like these type of games because um G the gene is having full control on this game i hate that but there's nothing i can do about it 
Maybe I can team up with the Piper. So worth a try, I guess. Okay. So now they will start uh, teaming against us. Let's make sure we don't get grabbed by the gene. So only four brawls left. We didn't do very much in this round. But because the gene was doing all the stuff and having the cubes. And we're also teaming against us now. Make sure we dodge the, dodge the grab. Oh, the Lou is helping us. That's very nice. Oh, look at this. That's beautiful. Beautiful. And that's the first place. I mean, we got a bit lucky here, but that's also part of the game. Sometimes you have to be lucky. That's perfect round to show. And as you can see, we are at uh, 1216 trophies. We made like plus five, zero. This game is not in a video. Um, plus three trophies, plus five. And uh, that's it with the video. Make sure you check out my other videos if you need help with any other brawlers. With that being said, leave a like if you liked this video and a dislike if you didn't. Much love. Use Snakefuck. Peace.